The biggest news of late is about Andretti joining F1 or not. The FIA has opened up the doors for teams to present themselves, but I'm not sure if other teams are looking for Andretti to join. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about whether it's a good idea to have an 11th or even a 12th team on the grid. I think there are more cons than pros. Con number one, quality above quantity. What we currently see is that with 10 teams, we have one or two teams that can't keep up at all. Especially Haas in 2021 was there more to participate than actual racing. The highlight of that season was Mazepin not finishing last in Sochi because he made the call to enter early and two drivers in front not finishing, as it was shown on Drive to Survive. Williams scored only a handful of points last season and year after year promises are made to make it to the top again and each year it doesn't happen. I'd rather see the FIA implement more to help them forward rather than adding more teams at the bottom. I can hear you thinking, how do you know the new team will be at the bottom? Well look at the money and the effort Aston Martin are putting in and where it's getting them really. All this noise from Andretti won't change the fact that being at the top of F1 is a monumental effort. The race had a short video the other day about the billions Toyota spent to win zero races. There's a huge list of teams that have tried and failed miserably. So I find it hard to believe a team like Andretti can live up to the hype they are creating. I'm not against seeing them on the grid, but with another system. But I'll tell you about that later. Con number two, more bad drivers. Formula One is extremely political and pushed to advertise brands. I could totally see it happening that a new team will have to put a driver in a seat to please the sponsors. I think the sport is better off without pay drivers. Most of them are good drivers, but subpar for the pinnacle of motorsport. At the end of the day, what have the likes of Mazepin, Latifi and, sorry to say this, Stroll really added to Formula 1? I'm thankful for one particular crash of Latifi and that's about it. I think with the budget cap in place, the need for pay drivers should get less in general. I see this as a good thing. I'd rather see one of the really talented drivers in F1 who don't have this kind of backing. I think we all do. I understand that one of the reasons why fans want more teams is to give more drivers a chance. With my alternative, more drivers can get a chance to compete in Formula 1. Con number 3. More cars. Remember how annoying backmarkers can be? More drivers will add more blue flags and during quali and races will have more incidents causing more yellow and red flags. Seeing how much criticism the FIA is already getting for stewarding the races, I think adding two or four cars is a bad idea. Imagine the time leaders will be stuck behind a safety car before 11 slow cars have unlapped. And since we're also hung up on rules after Abu Dhabi 2021, I can picture a lot of neutralized finishes and unhappy fans at the track. Another thing I'd like to point out is that certain tracks don't even have the capacity for more pit boxes. In Monaco and Zandvoort, this could be a huge problem. I know there's a group of fans that wouldn't mind seeing those races replaced. Answer the poll on my community page if F1 should get rid of those tracks. So, for nice and continuous racing, more drivers are just a bad idea. More incidents will take the momentum out of races too often. I want to see races where their leaders have different strategies and one team opting to go for a two-stopper and needing to catch up before the race is done. How annoying would it be if a car from one of those new teams has an issue and the virtual safety car is issued? This won't improve racing at all. If you're still watching, please press the like button as this will make the video spread. If you're not subscribed, please do at the end of the video. I promise to keep making good quality F1 content. The alternative. 
The alternative, in my humble opinion, is that we have a relegation system in place. The team that finishes P10 sits out one year. It will be able to prepare for next season without having to pay for all of the logistics. The way I see it, the teams who want to join now are waiting out several years without racing in F1. A team like Williams could benefit from not having to fly all over the world just to participate. Haas in 2021 was just there to be there and caused more bother than entertainment. The new team will step in and if they're as good as they have been saying all this time they were trying to get in, they'll end up higher than P10 in the standings and they can stay. The worst team of that season will be replaced by the team that was sitting one year out. With less money spent on logistics and more wind tunnel time, they should be much better and most likely finish higher than last place. Another team who did a bad job will sit a season out then. It would make the final races very interesting if two teams are at the bottom, as nobody wants to relegate. The team on hold can do tyre tests and even participate in a free practice here and there on a track nearby. So they're still part of the F1 circus. I think my idea is brilliant. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Remember to keep it clean. I highly doubt anything will happen with my idea. But it's nice to discuss these things, right? Subscribing to my channel is also nice. Take care now. Doodoo. -doo.